ili kupata habari zetu kila siku tafadhali bonyeza subscribe kisha alama kengere Bengo TV we are the best Hello Tanzania. Bana leo nimeamua kukusogezea exclusive interview kutoka uh, Tanga. Yaani hapa niliposimama niko Tanga, jiji la raha, jiji la mapenzi wenye wanasema huku mapenzi ndio alipozaliwa pengine hata dada yenu leo nikatoka huku ninaweza nikatoka na shemeji yenu pia inawezekana kwa sababu huku ndipo mapenzi alipozaliwa bwana. Na kikubwa ambacho kimenifanya leo nikaje Tanga ni kutokana na ndege wawili kutokea nchi mbili tofauti uh, wamenivutia. Na wamenifanya nikafunga safari kutokea Dar es Salaam mpaka hapa Tanga kwa ajili yao wao. Hawa ni Spela pamoja na Patrick na sababu kubwa ambayo amenifanya nije kwa Spela pamoja na Patrick leo ni kutokana na aina ya maisha wanayoishi. Tumezoea kuona mahusiano ya uh, mzungu pamoja na mswahili lakini akiwa kwa wale wenzetu wanaofanya filamu ama wasanii wa muziki wa kizazi kipya lakini hii imekuwa tofauti bwana. Huyu ambaye nakuletea leo sio Uh, msanii sio mtu anajulikana sio maarufu kama tulivyozoea huyu ni kijana tu wa kawaida ambaye alianzisha maisha yake hapa Tanga akala leo na kuletea penzi la mzungu pamoja na mbongo tutajua walikutana vipi lakini pia uh, mazungumzo yao yamekaaje hapa ndani ikumbukwe tu kwa asilimia kubwa ya watanzania kiingereza kidogo kinakuwa na shida ndani yetu twende tukafahamu je wazungu mzungu huyu na mbongo wanawasiliana vipi lakini pia tutafahamu mzungu anajua kacha za kitanzania ukumbuke kwetu kuvaa kanga ndo kila kitu eh? Tunzetu alafu tuko Tanga. Yes my people leo bana nimeamua kutembelea Tanga. Wenyewe wanasema Tanga ni jiji la raha, Tanga ni jiji ambalo mapenzi yamezaliwa na kikubwa ambacho kimenileta huku leo bana nimekuja kwa wapenda nao. Na ikumbukwe watu wengi sana wamezoea kuona mahusiano ya mswahili na mzungu yakitokea sana kwa wasani wetu wa kizazi kipya lakini pia watu maarufu ndo tumezoea kuwaona wakiwa kwenye mahusiano na watu wa design hiyo. Kimtani mtani inakuwa ni ngumu inabidi ujiulize mara tatu tatu. Mwamba katoboaje? Eh? Kampataje pataje yule mzungu unajua eh? Hiyo hapo. Sasa leo ni mama kukuletea hii exclusive interview ya wapenda nao hao bwana. Mmoja kutokea ni mmoja kutokea Tanga. Ilikuwaje walikutana vipi? Sijui tuko nao hapana tutazungumza nao kuhusiana na maisha yao kwa jumla. Walikutana kutana vipi? Wanazungumza vipi ndani? Na ikumbuko tu tunaona sana kwenye mtandao wa TikTok. Kuna vitu vingi ambavyo tunaviona na vifanya. Natamani tujue sasa kule TikTok ndo kuliwafanya wakakutana ama walikutana kutokana na huyu mwanamke anafanya kazi ya kuja uh, kufanya research yake hapa Tanzania na huyu yuko kwa ajili ya mambo yake hapa Tanzania. Tuko nao hapa tazungumza nao story mbili tatu. Mimi naitwa Lane na hii ni Bengo TV. Mao vipi? Mao poa. Are you good? Fresh. Mimi nakufahamu kama Patrick yeah. lakini kuna mwingine anaweza akawa hakufahamu. Tutamani tukufahamu jina lako ni nani? Yeah, mimi naitwa Patrick Michael. Patrick yeah. Hi. I'm good. Good to to tuzungumze Kiswahili unaelewa. <laughs> kidogo kidogo. Unaitwa nani? Shpela. Shpela. Mm. Kutokea wapi? Kutokea wapi? This I don't know. Unatokea wapi? Yaani nyumbani kabisa ni wapi? Uh, Where did you come from? Ah, uh, I come from Slovenia. Slovenia. Mm. America. No, 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 Europe. Europe. Okay. Bana tunazungumza Kiswahili na Kiingereza leo hapa. Yaani ndugu yangu hapa pembeni Kiswahili kinaingia kidogo, alafu kinatoka. Kinaingia kidogo, alafu kinatoka. Kwa hiyo itabidi tu tuzungumze hivyo. Ijapokuwa uh, uh, kuna baadhi ya watu wataanza kudoubt kutokana na hiki lakini itabidi tumkubali kwa sababu Uingereza ni hivyo hapa. <laughs> Utani wangu. Okay, uh, maisha yako kwa ujumla tunatamani kufahamu historia yako kwa ufupi ni mtoto wangapi kutoka kwenye familia yako lakini pia uh, unajishughulisha na nini elimu yako tunatamani kuifahamu story ya Patrick kwa ufupi okay, uh, mimi ni mwenyeji wa Tanga nimezaliwa Tanga okay. uh, na mamangu ni msamba babangu ni mlugulu uh, elimu yangu ni kidato cha nne nimaliza hapo nikajiunga na chuo cha NIT kwa ajili ya kujiendeleza mambo ya driver Uh, baada ya hapo uh, nikawa ni photo mtaani so unajua life ya yetu maisha yetu ya, ya Afrika unajua lakini uh, katika familia yangu tupo tupo upande mbili katika 
wazazi wangu maana babangu alikuwa na wife wa kwanza then aka wife wa kwanza akafa then akamwa mamangu kwa hiyo katika upande wa mamangu mimi ndo mtoto wa kwanza lakini lese tuko wengi katika familia lese tupo watoto kama 10 watoto 10 yeah, yeah. ah kibongo bongo hivi yeah. lakini kule kwetu kule ulaya mna mambo hayo sidhani kama ndugu yangu hapa wako 10 kwao inategemea kidi kuna baadhi ya sehemu pia wazungu hapo wanazaliana wengi lakini ni issue kwa okay. yeah, lakini kuna baadhi ya sehemu waga wazungu wanazaa sana watoto wengi ya yeah, hususan kwenye nchi kama ya kwao ya yeah, yeah. kuna baadhi ya mitaa watu wengi wanazaa sana watoto wengi okay. i need to know uh, a story about yourself i need to know your education level i need to know uh, how many children are there in your family and also i need to know how did you come in Tanzania? Okay, um, so uh, my family, we are my mother and my father, and I have one sister. You have one sister? Yeah, yeah we, we have smaller families in Europe. Okay. So I have one sister. Um, my education is journalist, basic education. Basic education of journalists. And it's a diploma or a degree? University. University, university okay. yeah. I finished university in Slovenia, and... Um, I come to Tanzania first time just like a um, tourist because I wanted to go to uh, Africa. There was a funny thing like um, I was very sick in one December and uh, then after I get well I feel I want to go somewhere and then I, I get like a calling to go to Zanzibar. Okay. So then I go Zanzibar first time. I see the country I like and then I come back uh, another time after six months because I like the country I wanted to explore more because the first time I was only like uh, two weeks or something but then later I came for longer time because I wanted to explore the country more. Okay, in which year did you come in Zanzibar? Uh, wait, two, two twenty? I think it was 220. 220. That's the first yeah, time first you come. First time 220, yes. 220. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Jamani, naomba nizungumze kwa Kiswahili kile ambacho amekizungumza hapo kwa sababu naweza mkaanza kusema oh dada mkorofa hapana. Ame nimemuuliza kuhusiana na historia yake lakini pia nimemuuliza kuhusiana na uh, maisha yake kwa ujumla na mara ya kwanza kuja nchini Tanzania. Kwa mujibu wa majibu yake amesema alikuja Tanzania mwaka 2020 kwa sababu hapa alisema mwaka 2020 ndio mara yake ya kwanza na hii alikuja baada kutoka kuumwa kuna aliumwa sana akaamua kufunga safari kuja nchini Tanzania baada ya kupona na alipokuja alienda Zanzibar sehemu ambayo alikuwa anaipenda kabisa alipofika Zanzibar alikaa for almost 2 weeks baada ya hapo akaondoka baada ya miezi sita ndipo aliporudi tena na sijajua kilichomrudisha nini lakini tutazungumza naye tujue sababu kubwa ilomfanya yeye arudi tena ni nini. Na, natamani kufahamu yeah. historia ya wewe na mpenzi wako. How did you meet? Mekuta na vipi ilikuwaje kwa sababu mala kwanza yeye alienda Zanzibar, wewe uko tanga. Yeah. How? Uh, kipindi ya nakuja Zanzibar milikuwa nipo tanga. Uh, nilikuwa nikijishulisha na mambu ya uh, udeleva wa ISIS. Konda. Uh, then after year, nika safiri kwenda E, moshi baada ya moshi ilikuwa kwenye mwezi kama navy uh, mwaka uliopita nikaenda Zanzibar kule Zanzibar nilienda kwa ajili ya kuuza kacha like say ya kuuza hizi kacha kwa ajili ya kuuzia wazungu kule kwenye beach na mambo mengine ya 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 pale wakati nimekaa kama miezi miezi miwili mitatu ndipo nikakutana na wewe bidada wewe. Okay. Kwao ulienda kwa ajili ya kufanya biashara. Yes, biashara ya kawaida tu unajua ujasiri ya mali sio yeye kama kujana. Na, kuna baadhi ya, ya vijana wengi huwa wanafanya hiyo biashara. Mm -hmm. Natamani ili uliweke wazi mm -hmm. kwa sababu kuna watu wakiona vijana ambao wanatoka Dar es Salaam mama na maanisha ya Tanzania wanatoka wanaenda Zanzibar mm -hmm. kwa ajili ya kufanya biashara wengi wao huwa wanaonekana wanaenda kudanga mm -hmm. kwa ajili ya kuwapata wazungu kwa nao kwenye mahusiano. Hii imekaje tuwekee wazi hii? Uh, sio kweli unajua kuna watu wanachukulia uh, watu kuna watu wapo na feeling mbaya siku zote katika maisha uh, lakini kiukweli sio wote ambao wakienda Zanzibar ni kwa ajili ya kufanya kudanga au kutafuta uh, vitu vingine la say bangi au mambo mengine ya ya, ya, ya kidunia lakini uh, 
mara nyingi watu wengi wanakwenda Zanzibar kwa ajili ya kupambana kutafuta maisha mazuri na hicho ndio mimi kikubwa kilichonitoa pale kufika hadi Zanzibar okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah thank you and you said uh, after six months you come back yeah. in Zanzibar and why did you come back oh I, at this time i didn't know i just i just wanted to come back to to see more about life in tanzania and everything and then i met patrick and then you met patrick yes. how did you meet him? you can you can you can you can you can share it with us we need to know how did you meet him and how can you communicate with him it's like a funny story uh, it was evening i remember like afternoon i go past his shop in um, in Baje. And um, he was selling stuff there, and he say hi, and then I see his, I see him, I see his eyes, and I, I see something in his eyes where I like, like, he make me confused. Um, yes, 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 I see, I don't know why, I get some, I get something from his eyes, like uh, kindness, but also something that is like, drawing me towards him mm -hmm. people would say ah no you come to him because his muscles but no it's not true because many boys they have muscle in zanzi what is that alizimia alizimia <laughs> ah is it true <laughs> eh kabisa is it true you fainted when you see him no 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 i didn't say so he lied to you <laughs> no i didn't faint and he lied to us yeah yeah a little bit no but i i get i get like i get confused and then i run away i go like uh, when i see him i i feel like ah this man can get me in trouble you understand like i cannot control this man like if if i get involved with him he, uh, i don't know how to explain my heart will be very excited too much you understand so i i say to him ah no no i need to go now i go to to see my friends but in in my heart i feel ah i want to see him again you understand so next day i come again <laughs> This is a very funny story. I come again. We need to to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, uh -huh. and then I come there, but he was not there. There was, it was there was no one there first because this was I think early morning. And then I pretend I, I I'm looking at these bracelets and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I'm waiting. Will he come? Where is he? And then come another guy. And then me, I say, ah, oh, is this the same guy? It was evening, but this is not the same guy. I think. And then I, he was just like, oh, what do you like? And then me, I didn't know what to do. You understand? And then I was like, eh, maybe bracelets. I was like, uh, silly. I didn't know what to do. And then um, the point was that um, Patrick come from somewhere. So I say, oh, yeah, this is the guy from yesterday. I was afraid I wouldn't see him again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he know, he know exactly why I come. Because later he told me, yeah. Me, I know you were not looking at bracelets. I know you were looking oh, for me. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that the, is what he told you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was he's very confident. But he know, he, he understand, he say, like, when he see me in my eyes, he know what I need and what I want. So he understand me in some way. Mm -hmm. And also um, he told me that he see me from far away, that I'm there and that I plan to go. And then he run with his chapati and... Uh, He's tried to, to see me, so to make sure I don't escape before he come there. Okay. So then he come there, we start to chatting, and Mia was like, uh, we were going someplace, so we exchange number, and then we start to see each other to go on like dates, so like to, to, to start to see each other, yeah. But, mm -hmm. but the communication was a bit difficult because Patrick's English is like, It's good but not much. Okay. Bana mimi naomba ni 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 translate. Eh maana. Atutafsilie Patrick. Patrick but the video tutafsilie. Maana hii story imekuwa excited hadi mimi nataka ni watafsilie ndugu zangu. Ndugu zangu kwa kweli hii story nimeelewa in deep maana Pati mwenyewe kumbe alishaelewaaga mchumba alikuwa anataka ni Pati tutafsilie kitu ambacho baby mama wako amekizungumza. Uh, in short ni vi, uh, wakati nikiwa Zanzibar mm -hmm. moja inaitwa Paje. Mm -hmm. Tulikuwa tunaduka duka fulani bila kuza vinyago. Hizi vitu vikacha kama hivi asili asili. Uh, nikamuona huyu mwanamke anapita uh, ya yeah, kwa mara ya kwanza yes mm -hmm. wakati aliponiona ile unajua kama kuna mtu ame unajua kupagawa mm -hmm. tabidi aje pale dukani kwetu mm -hmm. wakati anakuja akawa anajaribu kama kuuliza vitu hii shilingi ngapi ya nini lakini wakati anauliza mimi mm -hmm. nilikuwa tayari nishajua kabisa 
Uyo alipenda uyo. Ya ya ya. Mbuzi kafa kwa muza bucha. Ya ya. Hiyo achinje. Kabisa yes. Okay, uh, basi Mm. Uh, kana uliza uliza vitu ndi mimi kaumuliza mambo vipi I, I, don't, i don't know how to speak uh, swahili ah, ni karo ngiongeana unajua kiingereza chenyewe sisi cha kuomba maji mm. lakini hapo hapo na mimi nikakikanyaga kidogo ukikanyaga mm. eh. okay, anajua uh, subiri kwanza kuna baadhi ya watu wanahisi kiingereza chetu cha form 4 sio kiingereza kizuri uh, ukakikanyagaje sasa pale uh, ikiwa baby mama kiingereza chake cha ndani kabisa okay, yeah. kikubwa ni confidence eh? mm -hmm. yani ukishakuwa unajiamini mm. hata kama kitu akiwezekana kitawezekana Kinakuja tu. Kinakuja na kama kitu unakipenda basi kinaweza kuwa. Lakini pia mm -hmm. Mungu akipanga kitu hakuna ah, ya ya. ya. Wewe yes. unajikuta una, unaongoza tu. Mm -hmm. Basi nikaongea naye pale akawa ameondoka eh? Lakini mimi nika na watu pale naambia yule yule amenipenda sana. Njo kama utani tunaambia watu. Basi huyu akawa anashindwa kuondoka. Unajua ile yani ni mtu ambaye amini fulani au jamaa katoka mbinguni au unajua iko haya jiza umetoka mbinguni ya 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 party bwana kabisa party ulikuwa hapo kwenye ubongo wake mdau unanichukuliaje ya okay ya basi wakati yuko pale sasa mimi nikamwangalia anazunguka zunguka mara anacheza na watoto mimi naambia yule tayari yule subirini tu basi pale akaondoka kesho yake asubuhi Uh, mimi nilikuwa nimeenda kununua chapati mtaani. Mm. Unajua maisha ya bichi tena. Nika nimekimbia kwenda mtaani kwa ajili ya kupata chai. Sasa yeye amekuja pale dukani. Kuja pale akawa anaangalia eh sasa anajifanya anaangalia vitu lakini point kubwa ni kusema huyu jamaa yuko wapi unajua? Mm. Lakini akashindwa kuuliza. Yeah, Akaa anakuta kuna watu wengine pale sasa. Hapo jamaa vipi huyu jamaa kapotea unajua anashindwa kuuliza. Basi kidogo na mimi nikaa natoka mbali kwa. Mm. Kasema yule si yule mtoto wa jana yule eh? Eh kasema hapa tayari hapa eh ngoja eh eh chukua matunda chap kwa haraka nikakimbia kufika aliponiona mimi nikashtuka ngajua tayari mazagazaga ya tanga tena shamaliza na wazoto umefanya ah tayari okay um ni story ambayo kidogo hadi fani alafu ni 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 Mungu pia anasema ni Mungu basi nikakuta naye tukaongea mbili tatu nikaambia basi baadaye tunaweza kukutana nini tuweze kuongea zaidi mm. kumbuki hapo sisi ni watu wenye kule Zanzibar wana Twitter beach boys ya. Yeah. E, watu wengi wanaamini beach boys ni watu ambao wanafanya mambo mabaya e, let's say unauza vitu ya. lakini e, sio hivyo unajua sio kila mtu akiwa beach boy basi atakuwa mwizi au atakuwa mkabaji yani iko hivyo watu wengi wanatupelekea kwa hivyo basi hata unilivyokutana naye alikuwa pia na hizo feelings kujua hawa jamani wale wale mm -hmm. basi tuka tuka plan tukutane wapi nikakutana naye na kumbuka tulikutana naye kwenye same mgao mmoja kawaida tu sana wabela isilaisi za mtani mm. tukakaa pale tuka tunakula lakini mimi akili yangu yote uh, kwa sababu nilikuwa nakumbuka na limeki nina shilingi 5000 of course unajua 5000 yeah 5000 tutwa kiume sasa yes ni 5000 uh -huh. kwa sababu yali unajua hali ya kimaisha mm. basi wakati tumekaa sasa tunakula chakula pale lakini mimi akili yangu yote najua huyu atalipia hela tu ya, kuli, ya chakula mhm mm nikasema hapa nala chakula heavy Yaani ile ni shibe kabisa. Ule shibe upate nguvu. Yaani eh. Yaani ukirudi nyumbani hamna msasa. Yaani leo namtia sala. Basi nikajikanyaga hapa hapa. Tuka tunapiga story nini tukafanya hivi mwisho wa siku sasa. Kwenye kutoa pesa. Nashangaa katoa pesa mwenyewe. Ai kasema kimenuka tayari. Katoa pesa yake. Eh ya. Chakula chake tu. Pekee kama yeye. Eh kasema hapa sasa inakuwaaje? Nikamuliza na mimi kaja mimi kaona hapa sasa ili nisaibike ngoja na mimi ni kazi. Nikamuliza waita shilingi ngapi? Aweza waita kaniambia shilingi 5000 tu. Akasema safi. Tabidi nilipe mwenyewe wakati hiyo 5000 ndio ilikuwa ndio hiyo hiyo ya. Kwa nauli. Nauli lakini pia ni chakula cha usiku pia. Ndio ya. Kwa hiyo pale kwa sababu nilikuwa nimemwona mzungu ngasema eh, nimkomeshe ni lakini mwisho wa siku nikajikomesha mwenyewe ya 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 okay. kwa hiyo issue ni hivyo tulikutana mazingira hayo uh, mwisho wa siku tukawa marafiki uh, yeye akaenda upande mwingine ilikuwa ni nungwi kwa hiyo mimi nikaa niko pale pale bado
Uh, ikaenda ikaenda mwisho wa siku paka karudi tukao pamoja tukaenda kucheki afya alimshawishi yeah, mimi tukacheki afya wakati na mshawishi unajua hawa kwa wenzetu swala la ukimwi kidogo wanali sio sana sasa yeah. mimi nilivomwambia vile akajua mmm ujamaa mbona nauliza mambo ya ukimwi ujamaa yeah, ujamaa vipi yeah, mwame, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. lakini kwa upande wangu mimi ilikuwa ni vizuri zaidi kwa sababu uwezi kumwamini kila mtu eh yeah. yeah. uwezi kumwamini ni kikubwa ni afya uh, mambo mengine baadaye ya kwa hiyo tukapima mwisho wa siku nao mpaka sasa hivi tuko pamoja okay. ya lakini ya, tumetokea mbali kidogo sawa first time unamuona ulihisi atakuwa ni mwanamke wa aina gani kwako uh, wakati naumuona kiukweli sisi tuna tunaamini uh, kwa, kwa watu wengi ambao tupo kule uh, Zanzibar watu wengi wanaamini wazungu wanakuja Zanzibar kwa ajili ya Uh, fun you know, for fun uh, ku enjoy na watu then kuondoka unajua mimi nilikuwa na hizo feeling huyu uh, atakuwa serious kweli unajua yani kwa hivyo nilikuwa sijaingia ile moja kwa moja kwa sababu nilikuwa na ile hofu ile yeah. Yeah. lakini uh, jinsi tulivyo ndo yeah, nimeweza kujua ni mchana mzuri ambaye uh, ni mchana wa maisha yangu na yeah. okay yeah. So, let, let, let me talk to you first mm. time you see him Mm. Do you think he will become a good man or he will become a husband like the way he is right now? Um when I see him I say uh, I think he's a big playboy. Um so I was a little bit like um afraid to start something with him. I mean I like him. I knew I I see in my heart that he have a good heart, but he had a body and the face of a playboy. So I was like uh, very like uh, hesitant but I see his heart that's why every time I want to spend time with him you understand yeah, So and also I was like I was afraid because of this because me I see like many many boys like they're like beach boys and they like to find muzungu to to get a better life maybe money stuff but I I need to tell you something how how I know that Patrick is different for me mm. I know by this that he never like he never wanted me to take him to dinners or lunches or something. He didn't want me to spend money for stupid things for him, you know. Um yes, maybe to help him for something but not but and to give me back but not to just like give him money for different things. So this I liked and also one time he told me, "Ah, we can stay in a local room so you don't spend too much money. We can be together." And then um This give me big impression of him because he find the room he he fixed it as much as he could and then we were living in this local room african room with a, a toilet yeah toilet like not normal toilet and uh, we were we were uh, showering with bucket and everything mm. yeah yeah but i like yeah. it it was, yeah it was an interesting experience you know when you do like this you appreciate mm. good things more and also you see how people they living and is is a good experience but the the main main point was i see he he really liked me because if he didn't like me why he would live in a shitty room he could say ah buy a hotel buy me this this yeah. this yeah. but he never he never won this from me and many times uh like if i would get any trouble he would like help me for anything i i could see you know he have a good heart he didn't like I see he had my my best interest at heart that's why I started to trust him more I mean at the beginning it was sometimes difficult because we didn't understand each other so well uh, the culture was different and also like uh, me and him we weren't communicating the best you understand like he was thinking something me I was thinking something but later oh, sorry later on we start to communicate much better and i think for example now our re- our relationship is much much better than before okay yeah 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 okay uh, you you say uh, you see him like a playboy can you explain how a playboy look like yeah playboy playboys have big muscles oh, really? good smile they say hi oh you're so beautiful <laughs> i want to marry you this is like zanzibar you go on the beach first time they see Oh my gosh you're so beautiful. Oh I want to marry you make you my wife you know many people they say things like this. Okay. And that's why you're a little bit because this is not for Europe this is not normal you know. Yeah. And then also you see some stories sometimes you go club and then you see one boy with one girl and then after two weeks you see him with another and then you're like very 
you're careful, you know. Mm. But um, yeah, but playboys look like this. All the all the girls they want to see them. They they have a mass, so they work so, out. So, so he was working out, and I said, ah, this is <laughs> this is trouble. Don't them. get me trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so you already meet uh, many playboy there. Uh, what? Uh, you already meet. Uh, you already no, meet I them. No, I just I just see them, so I know. Like I I was I see the situation, so I thought he was like the same. But I see that there were differences because when I see other boys, sometimes they were always on the fancy lunches with women. They were paying everything. You know, Patrick, if he had like even if he had a little bit of money, he will pay. Mm -hmm. Or when he go, when he finds some small job. He was working and then he invited me to lunch and then he would pay. Mm. So, you know, this is how you understand something is different. This is how I, I understand that he's just looking like this, but he has something different in his heart. Yes, maybe he had like girls before, but I don't know. I feel that he has a good heart and I should give him a chance or us a chance. Okay. So, bana ni ni watafsili ama ni niendelee kumpa Patrick ya tafsili. Maana Patrick inatakiwa ndo atutafsilie kwenye haya ambayo dada yetu hapa au wifi yetu. Sisi wabongo tunamuita huyu wifi. We call you wifi. Yeah, I know this. Wifi. Chemeji wifi. Eh, yeah, yeah. sasa sisi tunakuita wewe wifi. So you are our wifi. Ah, wifi. Mm. Yes. And you can call me wifi. Ah, ah wifi sasa. Uh, yes, a wifi. Uh, dada? dada uh, no, only no. wifi. Oh. Uh, dada is someone you related with. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. So we are not related. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, me, I related to him. Ah. So you can call me wifi. And he can call ah. me dada. Ah. ah Do you okay. get that? Yeah, because you're both black. Huh? Uh, yes. Ah. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to the silly kill about me, I'm a I'm a to Zungum Zia Pamanzo, Kosiana, a prayboy in a Ninsia, a Livokana Kona, a William of Tungilia Mwanzo. Uh, I'm on Giaming Sana, I can hear Bazi and Boya. Okay, uh, Nadia Kamali for Sema. I want to wing you on a mini son, or again wing you a Kitoka Ula, Kuja. Apa Tanzania, ususa ni Zanzibar. Mm. Ona mini watu watu alo kwa kule beach ni ma playboy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ususa ni kwa sabu tunafanya mazoezi, tunamionekano ile mizuri. Mm -hmm. Kwa hiyo wana mini hivo. Lakini uh, chengine pia, uh, mimi likuwa ni mtu watu fauti kama hivo seme mwenye. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, unajua mabichi, uh, let's say beach boy uh, ni mtu ambaye anamini mzungu wana pesa always Yani mzungu wakienda na mzungu sehemu mzungu ndo Kama hivyo lisema ni hivyo sema mwanzo Mzungu wana ata, ata, kila kitu atalipia kama chochote Let's say unazwa kutana mzungu leo kambia siku mbili siku tatu kwa sema nataji gali Unajua eh? Lakini kwa ngumi likuwa nitofauti kidogo ya uh, nili, mi nilikuwa na imani kama hizo watu wengine kama kila mzungu wana pesa sawa lakini nilivyo kutana na bidada nilikuwa ni mtu wa tofauti kweli nikutana naye lese inaweza nikanunua chakula uh, nikamnulia nikalipia iko hivyo unajua kwa hiyo huyu ndo ikampelekea kuamini ya ya huyu yeah, kweli gentleman ya yeah, ya yeah, yeah, ni huyu mtu ambaye anafaa katika maisha yangu unajua ya yeah, ni vitu kama hivyo lakini pia uaminifu eh? Vijana wengi sasa hivi tunapoteza uaminifu kwa sababu ya tamaa ya eh, kitu kidogo tu. Watu wengi wanakuwa na mikono mikono ya kuiba. Kwa hiyo mimi nilijiaminisha kwake kama ni mtu gani ya. Eh. Ya, yeah. iko hivyo ya ndio maana paka sasa hivi tuko pamoja. Ya, yeah, ni vitu. Maisha yanaendelea. Ya, yeah, yeah. sawa. First time mnaanza kuishi kwa sababu nakumbuka amezungumzia swala la mara ya kwanza kabisa mm. kuanza kuishi. Mliishi kwenye mazingira gani? Yeah. And tunajua huyu ni katokea huko Europe. Hajatokea hapa kwetu. Hajazoea kuoga kwa kutumia kata. Mm ki kitanga tanga mnasema kata eh? Eh. ila Kiswahili kule Dar es Salaam tunaita kopo sasa how meishije maisha ya mara kwanza kabisa nyumba moja uswailini ya yeah, yeah, ilikuwa ni shida kidogo unajua eh uh, kwa sababu <laughs> mazingira ambayo tuko tunaishi uh, ni mazingira ya kawaida sana uh, ni Zanzibar lakini ni, ni paji pale lakini sem katikati kuna raia wengi sana ni maisha ya uswazi unajua kwa hiyo nilipanga chumba tu kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa na lala beach zamani okay. eh, beach ilikuwa sina sehemu ya kulala na, na, na kwa nini mwe mnalala beach yeah. that means watu wengi ambao wanatoka Dar es Salaam ama Zanzibar ama 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 Dar es Salaam ama Moshi ama wapi wanaenda kufanya kazi ama beach boy kule wengi huwa wanalala beach yeah, kinachopelekea ni kwa sababu ya umaskini Atuna, unajua unatoka lese unatoka kutanga una kitu eh? una unga unga unapata pesa ya kwenda Zanzibar kufika kule una pesa kulipia chumba unajua eh? eh, sasa inabidi utafute sehemu ya kujishikiza lese kulala 
uh, yeah, nilikuwa na lala bichi kwa sababu ya sina pesa kiukweli yeah. na ni wangapi ambao mlikuwa na lala hapo bichi uh, watu wengi ni kama saba hivi katika iko ni chumba kijibanda kwa ajili ya kuuzia kacha yani usiku tunalala tu kama saba alafu asubuhi tunafungua duka tunauza duka ni watu saba yeah. lakini watu tofauti tofauti okay. yeah. kwa hiyo mimi nilipo mpata huyu kitu cha kwanza nika nikaona okay ngoja ni mshauri huyu tu tukai pamoja nitafute chumba cha kawaida tu uh, ili tuweze kuishi pamoja lakini pia mimi ka, niweze kuji kutoka katika hali ya kulala nje na kulala sempa nzuri basi nika nika nikaongea naye bwana unaonaje sisi tukao tunaishi pamoja uh, yeye yeah, akafiki kwa sababu unajua ni mtu ambaye ashali ashani kubali kwa hiyo nikatafuta chumba cha mtaani yeye yeah, mwenyewe alijua nitatafuta chumba expensive sana Eh, lakini hivyo kuja kumuonyesha na kuja chumba cha kawaida sana unajua. Ah, akasema okay kwa hiyo nikamwambia sawa mimi nitaongezea baadhi ya hela na yeye pia baadhi ya hela tukaenda kununua godoro. Godoro. Ya godoro tu la kawaida la nchi. Let's say kabisa la kawaida tu kidogo. Mm. E, tukaenda kununua godoro, tukanunua na ndoo, uh, tukanunua na makopo ya kuogea na jiko la gesi moja uh, na vyombo vyombo baadhi. Kwa hiyo uh, nika ongea naye akawa tunaishi wote pale. Kwa tuka tunalala chini. Ilikuwa ni chumba cha bega. Eh 30. 30. 30. Ya. Ya. Kwa mimi ilikuwa si kwa mimi kwa mimi niliona yes. Mimi niliona maisha mazuri. Unajua? Nianza kuwi. Yes, kwa sababu kana na kulala chini. Kulala chini paka yes, paka sasa hivi naingia kwenye ya nilikuwa hivyo nimelizika. Yeah. Basi tuka tunaishi lakini changamoto sana nilikuwa nazipata katika zile sehemu. Mm-hmm. Unajua watu wengi wanaamini sana eh, vijana sisi eh, ili tufanikishe tupate mzungu mwenye hela nyingi eh, akujengea gorofa umiliki gari zuri unajua kwa mimi kana ni tofauti kwa hiyo nikana napata changamoto ya watu kunisema unajua wenzangu ah we, mzungu wako ana hela bwana kishuka huyo eh, mnakula mapela unajua <laughs> <laughs> kishuka maana yake ni nini kishuka, kishuka ni mtu ambaye hana kitu unajua okay. mweupe mweupe una kitu yani kwa hiyo kwa kule wanaita kishuka mm-hmm. kwa hiyo tu kana bwana umepata mzungu kishuka bwana <laughs> lakini mimi sija care kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye nilimkubali kwa sababu nilikuja kumkubali kutokana na tabia zake mm-hmm. uh, alikuwa sio mtu wako ni command misha una watu wengine wanapigwa eh kuna wengine wana wazungwa oh, yes, yes, yes wanapigwa lakini huyu ulikuwa ni mtu wa kunisikiliza nikisema kitu bwana bwana osha vyombo hata ataosha vyombo unajua unajua lakini kwa, ni, ni kitu tofauti sana kwa kwa wazungu wengine wazungu wengi wanatamani sana wao kwa juu katika maisha kwa hiyo mimi nilimpata mtu ambaye uh, naweza kuongea naye na tuka share na tukasikilizana kwa hiyo nikapenda kwa hiyo uh, tukaanza maisha kulala chini tuko tunaka choo ni kibaya unajua eh? Yaani ukifika pale uweze kuamini kama kuna mzungu anakaa hapa. Mm. Lakini ya yeah, nikawa naishi naye namfundisha kupika ugali hivyo. Yaani yes yeah, yeah. Chakula chetu wa yeah, bongo. Kabisa yes, ugali kuvaa nguo bwana usivae nguo hizi. Yeah, na mkataza unajua ili aweze kujua kacha yetu ya Afrika. Yes, kwa hiyo yeah, ni vitu kama hivyo. She changed a lot. Yes, do you go? I may change kwa sababu bikini pia uh, avaivai sana, unajua? Ameacha. Moja moja, yeah, yeah. Kwa hiyo ni mtu ambaye pia ni mtu ambaye anapenda kujua Africa is uh, tradition zetu, culture zetu ziko vipi? Yeah. Ni mtu ambaye anakwenda na, na wakati wa Kiafrika. Okay. Yeah, kwa hiyo na ndio maana na Yes, tuko pamoja. Sawa bwana. Mimi nataka niongee na, na wifi yangu. Jamani niyepata wifi mzungu mtakoma. Yaani sasa hivi tunaenda mwendo wa Kiingereza mwanzo mwisho. Okay, uh, do you know how to cook uh, Swahili food? I mean African food. Do you know how to cook it? Yeah, uh, example gali. Basic stuff like I know how to cook wali so rice. W- rice. She teach me to make a very good rice. Really? Before, yeah, before my rice was not good but also this rice here is different. Mm. Here is much I like this rice very much because it smells very good in Europe. If you open a bag of rice, it don't have any smell. It's like nothing. So I can do rice, mchicha, mchicha, uh, maharage. Wow. Yes, this basic stuff, but ugali I never did myself because for ugali you need this special skill to make this whole bunch and then to put it on the plate. So ugali is a struggle for me still. Um I think you need like skill. Um so I make this 
Also, I know how to make um, bananas with coconut milk and garlic. This is the f one of the first things he make for me. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He and said, he like today it. I will make you bananas with coconut milk. And I was surprised to see, me, I thought this was a sweet, yeah, me, I thought it was sweet dish, but he make it salty. So he put garlic inside. So good. This was very nice. And anytime I feel sad, I say, oh, make me banana. And he liked to make this. This was like his, his dish. So I know how to make this. Okay. Um, but other stuff, I mean, I don't know too much, but I know you cook a lot with coconut. Yes. Patrick, he showed me. But uh, the problem with coconut, we need to buy this, this device without electricity. I don't know how you call it. You know these two? Kibao chambuzi. Yeah, chambuzi. We need to buy Kibao chambuzi. Ah, kibao chambuzi. We need to buy this because the problem is sometimes here electricity is not. And also Patrick, he managed to break one mixer we had because the uh, coconut was very hard. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I know how to make now coconut milk so I can cook stuff inside. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so you know how to cook uh, coconut, uh, coconut rice. You know, yeah, why not? I mean, it's the same like uh, rice, just you put uh, coconut water also inside. I mean, not water, milk. Okay. I mean, but I didn't make it, but I, I was looking at him, how he makes, so I think I could. So you look at, he, at him when he make it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was watching, like me, I'm very interested in food. Mm. So for me, this was very interesting. I, I would like to learn more about traditional Swahili food. Okay. Um, but then, then again, also, I like to make my food. You know, there are some things I don't like, like... Many times when you go to eat outside on street food, you know, it's many fried things. I don't feel good if I eat too much oil or like chips. It's very nice to eat chips, but you don't feel so good if you eat every day too much. Um, so that's why I combine some Swahili dishes and uh, my, my own dishes and it's good. It's so sweet. Yeah, and also I like food here. Okay, food here, so. okay. I, need to, I, I need to know. Which food in Swahili do you like the most? You like to eat it. Even you, even someone told you to eat it. Every day you will eat it. Which food? Hmm. I mean, these bananas in coconut milk, they're so amazing. So Banana in coconut milk. Yeah, I would milk. choose this. And any, like, uh, things that are making made in coconut are the best. And also, like, there is one food I really like, mm. um, cabbage. Okay. Cabbage, when Patrick he make, mm, was so good, rice mm. and cabbage with nyanya. This was a very good food for me. But me, I like to change every time. So it's hard to say what I would eat every day because me, I told Patrick, like, every day I can eat potato. This is like my food, Vyazi. I can eat it every day in different ways, but potato is my favorite food in, in general, general. In even general. from Slovenia because we eat a lot. Okay. Okay. Mm. I, I need to know. Did you teach him to cook your food from Slovenia? Um, he's not very. You know, he likes to stay in his own ways. So he's very difficult sometimes to to teach him something new. You understand? To teach him. I, I want, but he don't want. You understand? Mm. He's like, ah, I don't need this. You know, like a man, a real man. Mm. But then after some time, he, you know. He's an interesting person. Sometimes he ah, me, I don't need this. And then maybe after one month, he come and, uh, and then he look and then he makes something. But, okay. but food, I didn't teach him yet, but I want. Okay, Jamani, okay. tunarudu kwa, kwa mkalimani wetu. Mana leo wapa tunazungumza kiswaili, hafu tunarudu kwa mkalimani. Mkalimani, tunazamani ututafsiri ya hiki ambacho wifi yetu wa mekizungumza. Maswala kutarisha, tarisha misosi. Najua wu hutaki kujifunza chakwake, ila tutafsiri ye. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, huyu ni mara nyingi bwana natamani mimi nijue kupika vyakula vya kwao unajua eh mm -hmm. kwa hiyo uh, na mimi na kujifunza kitu kipya lese kupika mm -hmm. uh, kwangu mimi ni mtiani sana yani mimi bado na, na stili kubaki kwenye ile focus ya kwangu mimi yani eh, chakula chetu cha Kiafrika kwa hiyo hiyo inakuwa ni changamoto mimi na yeye sana mm -hmm. yeah, lakini kuna wakati huwa anasema ah, okay bwana nimekula kitu fulani kitamu kwa nini nisijifunze mm -hmm. yeah kwa hiyo um, Ya yeah, wakati mwingine na jinajifunza lakini si, si sana kwa sababu na naamini na vyakula vyetu ni best unajua eh? Ya yeah. kwa hiyo natamani sana huyu kwa sababu yuko Afrika aweze kujua eh, vyakula vyetu aweze kujua mazingira. Yeah, Hivyo natamani ajue awe Mwafrika uh, alisi. Ya yeah, awe mzalendo wa inchi. Ya yeah, yeah. Sawa kwa mara ya kwanza tunapiga story mlituambia mlikuwa mnakaa Zanzibar yes. mlipanga paje pale katikati uswailini kwetu kabisa nyumbani sawa 
sababu ambayo iliwapelekea mkatoka Zanzibar mkarudida ilikuwa aje mpaka mkamia mkamua kurudi tanga sasa yes uh, sababu bwana unajua mimi uh, nimezaliwa huku uh. Kwa hiyo fursa nyingi ambazo ulikuwa na ziona uh, ni kaisi naweza kufanya kitu uh, ukutanga. Mm. Uh, kitu kikubwa ni fursa kuja, kuzifata, kuja kuzipata fursa ukutanga. Unajua tanga bado ni, ni sebo ambayo yuko chini sana. Kwa hiyo nili, niliongia nae, uh, nika, nikambia unonaje wana tukenda kukaa tanga kwa sababu pia Zanzibar ni sehemu ambayo ni ya stale sana unajua ni sehemu ambayo party kila siku ni sehemu ambayo yani vurugu vurugu kwa hiyo nikaona mimi na yeye ili tuweze kudumu katika mahusiano yetu ni lazima twende tanga unajua simuona sehemu kama ilivyotulia kwa hiyo nikamini tukija huku basi tutakuwa na mahusiano asilimia mazuri zaidi ya yeah, ndo kitu kikubwa kitufanya paka sisi tuje huku ya yeah. Yeah, lakini investment pia lakini uh, kuwa na familia bora. Yeah. Kwa hiyo yeah, ivo vitu kama hivyo unaoza. Okay. How did you see the difference uh, between Zanzibar and Tanga? Well there are a lot of differences. Um, one of the reasons why we decided we want to stay in Tanga was because it's more calm, it's better for like maybe family life, you know. In Zanzibar there's so many parties, so many people anytime so many muzum <laughs> so many muzum yeah yeah no like it's not that i don't like this but it's a different vibe you understand like in zanzibar i feel because there are so many muzungu who bring money and everything people they get more greedy they want like you go to buy normal like nyanya or something and they want a lot of money and then you need to negotiate you understand but here maybe because people they're not used to muzungu too much um, is like I pay the same price like local people, so I like this. I mean, this is I talk about me. I don't know why I like the vibe here, you know. For me, it's like this. Tanga or maybe some other regions also are good to stay, to make family, to, to live your everyday life. But Zanzibar is very good for vacation, to go to life or something. But um, me, for myself, I don't see Zanzibar too much as to raise family, but maybe I'm wrong, but this is my, my view of it. And of course, uh, the, the lands now in Zanzibar are super expensive, and uh, me, with my budget, I couldn't afford it. But here it was possible, so... But, but I'm happy I, I'm here. Okay. What did you decide to stay in Tanzania? Um, I mean, we, we were talking about different things. I, I, don't, I don't like Europe, you know. Yeah. There is, like, in Europe, every time you're stressed, you're just running, it's just business, 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 or, like, people, they don't stop to talk to each other, you know. It's, like, it's very stressful to live in Europe. And also, in Europe, it's very, life is very expensive, even if you just want to survive. Like, for example, here, if you have a little bit of money, Okay, still you will live, you will live a simple life, but you will live. But in Europe, basically, if you don't have money, you're dead. I mean, literally dead, because um, Europe first is cold. I mean, as, uh, the region where we stay, or north, is very cold. So in the winter, you need a lot of wood or something else to make your house warm. Then the rents are super high. Like, for one small apartment, you would pay in Tanzanian shillings, you would pay like one million and a half per month, you know, just for rent. Mm -hmm. Everything is more, uh, everything is more expensive, food is expensive, um, especially good food. Here you can have good food for normal money. And, um, and yeah, in general, I, I just felt at home in Africa, so when we were discussing, I say, why don't we stay in Africa? Me, with my business, I can work wherever I want, because it's online, I, I have like customers in Slovenia, so I don't care where I am. And um, that's why we decided to stay here. And um, I think Patrick, uh, after he visited my family this year, I think he understand why I don't want to stay in Europe because... So you're ready to go in your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he know your people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows all my family. He knows my father, my sister, my cousins, everyone. I think he met basically everyone. And uh, he saw how cold is in Europe, and um, he told me like his impression when he come is like people they have a face like stressed face, you know. And then he was like he was waiting to go back to Africa, you know. He I think 
after he go to Europe and when he see also how long people they work like in the job all day and everything, he understand that Africa is gold. I, I follow some girl in Instagram. There's some girl from Uganda. Um, she's saying anytime because she's a model in uh, London. She say people in Africa they don't know Africa is gold. They don't know. I get tears in my eyes when I think about this because. Here you have good food, good weather. Even if you don't have money, you can sl still sleep somewhere. You have people who will like, if you get trouble, people, they will help you. In Europe, if you're alone in a big city, no one will help you. You can just die on the street. Nobody cares. Because all people, they just focus on themselves. But it's normal. They must to focus on themselves or else they will end up the same. But Africa is community. You know, this is a big difference. So that's why also this girl, she say, before I come to Europe, I never know what is depression, anxiety, fear. This is the things we face in Europe every single day. I mean, me, I had quite a good environment because my family, my father, he has a big house, so we have more apartments in the house so I could stay there. But people who maybe don't have this luck, they need to rent because houses also in, in, in my country with, together with the land are very expensive. This we are talking about, uh, let's say you pay for a house 200,000 euros plus for the land. So it's a very, very stressful life, you know, and uh, taxes are big, everything. So it's not an easy life. Okay. Did he take you to his parliament? Yes, of course. Did you see those people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meet them. I know them. Uh, we get along well. Okay, now now I've been a little bit busy, so I didn't go there a long time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I meet them. Okay. I I meet a few like his mother and father, mm -hmm. and there is some cousin they take care of, um, and some other relatives. I I meet also his brother. So I know yeah his family. Okay.